Okay, here we have uh, an infestation battle mission, specifically from the battle mission uh, rulebook. We've got a kind of marshland terrain. Uh, my opponent rolled first, he's going to take this quarter of the table. I get to deploy pretty much anywhere else, and uh, he's obviously going to go first, so we'll see how that goes. Okay, so Tyranids are going to deploy everywhere except this corner over here, and uh, on a roll of 2+, plus, they get the first turn. We finish deploying, just about to roll to see who takes the first turn. This is a special uh, special rule from the mission book, so it's called inf Infestation. Uh, on a 2+, plus, I get the first turn, so let's see how it goes. Ah, can you believe it? That's a 1, that means he gets to go first. Ah, yeah. Yeah, let's see how that goes. Wanker. Okay, as you can see, my uh, my good friend Matthew here got turn one on a one, so he decided to take out the Moloch, which he did manage to because I stupid I he I stupidly placed him close enough for him to shoot because I was so cocky I'd start the frigging game on a two plus. Ah, shit happens. Uh, lost two guns. Uh, one wound off the Turbigon. Uh, he just shuffled up a bit. Alright, end of turn in turn one. Um, turn has just moved up a bit. Shurax flew on this corner. That's, that's one of the special rules of this uh, mission is that all terrain is dangerous, but um, every cover save is, you, is, is increased by plus one. So uh, the Venom Probes, which normally give a five plus, they're going to give these guys a four plus cover save. So everybody here's got a four plus cover save. And these guys are behind a four plus cover save wall. Sandbags. So they get a three plus cover save. Uh, yeah, everything just shuffled up the middle. My Hive Guard failed to kill the Bald Predator because of crappy rolling and good cover saves. Um, yeah, he's going to shoot the shit out of me next turn. Let's see how we go. As uh, suspected, quite a massacre. You see this huge pile of dead stuff. Yeah, those are all gods. Uh, in my in my wonder and awe at those amazing special rules of having a uh, plus one cover save, I decided to give Fiona Pain to my uh, my Venomthropes here, just to make sure they wouldn't die, but uh, that left all the Gorns exposed, just for the normal cover save and not the Fiona Pain, and that is the result. Uh, some pretty good shooting, as you can see, all those tanks nicely staying away from mine. Uh, so now we'll have to turn it turn two, see how it goes. End of turn in turn two, shuffled up a bit, popped the vehicle there with the hive guard. Um, the Prime and the Gorns managed to assault the Devastators on the hill. Are they Devastators? No. Devastators on the hill. Uh, luckily there's one guy remaining in combat so they can't get shot at next turn. The Trikes flew up and killed this squad on the hill, consolidated over there. Um, Everybody kind of, as you can see, they, they pulled back from the right hand side of this uh, Lord of the Rings piece in the middle. Just to kind of annoy those tanks, either make them squash up on one side, which is easier for me to shoot them, or come all the way around the back, which kind of is a little bit annoying, but at least I get a bit of cover from this piece of terrain. Here. Um, yeah. The Massacre of Turn 3, Blood Angels Turn 3. Alright, so uh, we have some very, very synchronized, very fluid action happening. The tanks managed to pop the Venom probes, which means they lost the danger, they lost the defensive grenades, they lost the, um, the, the poison cloud, and they lost the dangerous terrain test for the enemy who's assaulting anyone in it, which means uh, Land Raider came. Death Company jumped out and killed both Turbigons, full health except for one with one wound, uh, and consolidated over here. Um, even if they had done half the wounds that they did, they would have probably died anyway from the sheer amount of field saves. So yeah, um, that's quite a good turn for him. They got four kill points from the Gaunts, the big guys, and the Veltrops in one turn. So I got I gotta catch up badly here. So we're gonna go on to turn in turn three.
I forgot to do the synaptic backlash for losing the uh, two Servagons on these gaunts. Lost, uh, I had 16. 16 wounds, lost 9 gaunts. Just thought I'd include that. Alright, end of turn, in, turn 3. Fucking massacre, sorry for the language. So, um, I've heard, uh, managed to pop the other transports in the corner. The Shrikes moved up, assaulted the guys inside, killed them all, and consolidated into the hill. The, the Gaunts and the Prime, the Gaunts died, the Prime finished the two squads there off. Two squads, two kill points uh, over there, and consolidated. Um, as expected, well, no, that was happened in the previous turn, sorry. Death Company were over here, some of them were outside the terrain. So what I did was I assaulted the Prime into them by himself, just to avoid even more fearless wounds being put on him and the squad, but they managed to kill him off anyway. By the job. He didn't do as well as I hoped. He killed three guys. It wasn't that bad. But they killed him. So now they're over there. And now it's going to be his turn four. So he's probably going to charge my guard angles at the same time. Fuck me up. Right. So, uh, <laughs> look at that smirk. Look at that smirk. Right. So let's go on to Blood Angel's turn four. End of Blood Angel's turn four. A momentous assault from three Blood Angels and a very happy Norman destroying everybody in one swift laugh. They managed to take out all the Gaunts and all the Hive Guard in one assault with only one loss. And they consolidated. Very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, this is what's left. The Tyranids are looking pretty, pretty, pretty grim right now. I have two squads left, that's pretty much it. I still have a goddamn Zoranthrop on a pod. Three Zoranthrops on a pod. In reserve, which never came down. Going on to turn to turn four. Alright, end of turn to turn four. Um, I flew over here trying to pop this. I managed to stun it so it can't... Uh, Move or shoot? Yeah, that's about it. They didn't manage to pop it because it was moving too fast. Uh, the pod came down, tried to kill this guy, only wounded him once. Um, the sword thrift came down. I was so sure they'd at least popped one thing, but they did the only result on the damage shard that doesn't stop it from moving, which is weapon destroyed. Yeah, so that's gonna fly away next turn. And it looks like a good game for the Tyranids, but let's just play on. And the Blood Angels, turn 5, uh, wounded the Prime with a Land Raider, um, hit his bike over here a bit, uh, took out the pod with, ah, with the bike, and killed his own throat. Uh, t turn of events, the Prime and the uh, Shrikes caught up with the Razorback and wrecked it! An extra kill point, way! And they survived, and they managed to consolidate into terrain. So I'm happy with that. And the Zoanthropes moved into dangerous terrain, only just managed to not take a wound from the bloody pond, and popped the previously degunned Bar Predator. So that's an extra two kill points from my measly little swarm. Not very swarmy, but it's there. Uh, we're going to roll for turn six to see if we can get some extra kill points. Let's do it. Go on. That's it. Game over. So let's count the kill points. Somehow, with three squads left, I managed to pull a victory. Uh, eight kill points to nine. Good game, Matt. Thank you very much. Sorry you couldn't get your much needed win against me. <laughs> that was absolutely close. Always a pleasure. Um, anything you'd like to say, Matt? <laughs> Thanks. Uh, I think I got quite lucky with that one. Um, yeah, pretty close in the end. Good game though. Very enjoyed it. That's uh, the rest of the gamers finishing off on a Thursday evening. And yeah, gonna call it.
well. Okay. Uh, 